Hey everybody, Space Goats here. Hope everyone's having a good day. When I started this uh, little project here, the uh, the idea of this was to have multiple multiple GPU stands. So, like I said in the first video, or the second video, last video, I printed off a second one of these things. I wanted to see how they, how well these things fit together. Now. One of the things that I think the intention was, was to have these here, these little stops or plugs or whatever you want to call these things, actually go into the hole, like something like this, to actually lock your graphics card into place. I didn't really like it. I was kind of playing with the first one that I printed off. And that's just, that's just too, too small of a little stud there. And those things just break off too easily. So, like I did in the... In the last video, I used a little screw and I threaded the top of this uh, GPU here or where the GPU mounts so the GPU go in there. I did go ahead and install a second fan just to kind of see how maybe maybe you would do some, some wire management or something like that. You know, if you have a hub back there in the back, you can run these fans kind of kind of something like this to a hub, zip tie them together where they're out of the way, where they're not getting uh, damaged or caught up on the wiring anywhere. I went ahead and installed another extra fan that I had just to kind of see how it was going to look. But that's really about it. I mean, it's pretty simple. <clears throat> I haven't really actually test fitted this very well, so let's see if I can get this thing. I noticed these things are pretty tight. And then just click on, just like that. Now, this is all one unit pretty stout. I've noticed the connections were pretty tight. I mean, they're they're not uh, loose at all. This right here and this little piece over here, it's a couple of these. That's, I'm guessing that the, the designer of this intended these just to kind of fill, fill the uh, extra gap of piece you're not using just to Aesthetic and kind of make it look pretty. I don't think it's really necessary, but yeah, what the hey, we'll just We'll stick them on here Maybe They are pretty snug so they don't they don't like to slide in the little slot very well I guess that's a good thing with it being nice and tight There it goes These ones here Kind of click on like that, and this one here. There we go. Something like that. That one there needs a needs a little. There we go. Little tap. Little tap from my little baby brass hammer. All right, and that's it. I mean, that's pretty simple idea. One of the things I start thinking about though with these fans, the way this is set up. Now you got like a little shroud right here for these fans, so it's going to try to kind of direct more of that airflow directly over the card. Will it actually help help with uh, cooling? I don't know. Maybe a smidge. So let's set the second card here. Get my little screw. This is one of my extra 1660 Ti's. I got a mine. I got three big miners out out in the shed running 12 GPUs a piece off of a 30 amp breaker, and I ran out of power. So I got four of these cards sitting in my workroom right now, and I got four 5700 uh, 5700 cards that are not currently mining because you know, I ain't got no power. And that's it. Nice, it's clean, it's simple. Pretty easy to put together. A little time consuming to print off, but not too terrible. But question is gonna be, and, and I kind of sort of tinkered around with it earlier when I got this done, is how can you end to end? Now these things here are the little adapters that they intended 
to slot in here like so and like so now I guess if you have a really long card let me see uh, let's see if I can get this apart without tearing something up there it goes I'm assuming they attended these to go together like so that clicks there I won't put those all yeah they're pretty easy now you have a back to back and if you need a longer a longer span because you have wider cards you can put another one of these connectors in here which will drag it all out and inevitably you could have a 12 12 gpu system back to back um i got a this is a 1660 super a little asus uh, phoenix card this is the card actually going in the itx build if you guys have been following along with it i hope you have been if you had a bunch of these little cards like this say almost enough room or you could probably yeah you could probably do something like that if you really wanted to maybe well no because you can get run you can run into some issues with the usb on the bottom but if you had a little short cards you can do that or if you if i print off some more of these extension bars uh, let's see here and tell you what these things lock in there pretty pretty well I'm actually surprised how good these things lock in there there we go if you print it off some more of these little bars now you take the bar and you connect it to each other Now you have it, now it's even longer. So now there would be plenty of room to run two cards like this one. Um, actually, give me just a second. And I have a nice, pretty, brand new 1660 Super Ventus card. Never even been out of the box. I want to see cable management wise. I have quite a few of these MSI cards out, out in my shed. I ran, uh, I think I have uh, some six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like twelve of these cards. So, got the riser on here. I forgot to drop the stupid thing. Now if I slot this in here like this, let me go ahead and put the screw in it so it don't fall over. There we go. And see now you can you can put the cables here. USB on either side here. You can wire loom that thing right down the middle, which would give you a nice clean, clean look. And all it takes is just a few hours of printing. It would probably take you, if you ran a printer 24 seven, if you wanted to print off 12 of these things with the extension bars and stuff, so you can set up, make it set up like this. You're probably looking in the neighborhood of about three and a half ish days, approximately, worth of printing to have enough of these done. Depending on how fast your printer is and what kind of resolution and stuff you're you, that you're printing at. So, well, all right, guys. Well, that's all I wanted to show you. 
I hope you guys uh, like the video and, and like and subscribe.